Hi everybody, it's James Lanyon at Sanders Wingo. I uh, wanted to take a few moments at following up on our last video cast to talk about social media. And we're not going to talk about what is social media or how do you get in on social media, but rather another really critical element, which is measuring and analyzing different parts of social media. If you have a big budget uh, and you're a social media professional, you may subscribe to a tool like Radian 6, which is awesome. Uh, stores all sorts of data on a daily basis and serves it up at a micro level so you can see exactly what's going on with different brands, different emotions, different discussion streams. Not everybody has that. Not everyone is a social media professional. Not everyone uh, spends every day looking at social media. So fortunately, if you just need some insights on the fly or if you need to do it on the, the cheap, there are quite a few very cool, very free tools out there and we're going to run through some real quick. The first one and my personal favorite is Social Mention. As it says right here, real-time social media search and analysis tool. All you do is uh, key in a term or a brand or a product, and you can look across all different social media elements, or if you like, you can go and uh, splice it uh, by a different type of social media. For example, blogs or images in Flickr, videos in YouTube, whatever it might be. One of the drawbacks, because it is free, is the fact that it has to go out and get the information on the fly. So it can take a little while. We're not going to wait. We've already got one preloaded. And I took a very easy term, iPhone, right here. Now you see it displays quite a few tweets. Uh, you will also th see things as you move through it from Facebook, etc. It goes about 54 pages deep today, so obviously a lot of discussion. What I like about social mention are two other things. Um, with regards to analytics, it offers up sentiment and strength, passion, reach, those different things. Uh, outlines a lot of it here on the left. For example, top keywords. If you're an SEO or SEM, that's very, very helpful. Uh, top users, so there's an engagement element there. Hashtags, which is really important in Twitter, and of course our sources, which if you look at it outlines, outlines the uh, breadth of all of the different areas in social media, anything from Twitter and photo bucket all the way down to uh, Daily Motion, Picasso Web, Yahoo News, all of those things part of the social media or blogosphere. Well, like I said, social mention is not the only one. There's another one, same point, and we'll go ahead and take a run through this real quick. We'll use the same term, iPhone. Now, same point, it has a similar functionality but expresses it a little bit differently. Uh, it likes to look at uh, actual listings here on the left. So if you're interested in knowing what's going on from sort of a line by line aspect, uh, same point might be a good tool for you. Uh, right over here is that recent conversations element that we saw but uh, not as prominently displayed. And as you see down here, uh, it digs pretty deep as well. They have um, 100 pages deep. So lots to, to sift through. Um, with regards to how you can look at it, uh, same point allows you to look at different portions of social media, just like social mention, live casting, what's being said in groups or microblogs, et cetera. So you could easily click on one of these and get uh, a more segmented view. A third one that we like to uh, play with is backtype. Backtype takes a slightly different uh, approach rather than key terms or issues. They use URLs, so we'll just do apple.com. And when we talk about the way backtype works, it expresses it very differently than it leads with actual measurements. Um, you see here a very, very healthy flow of tweets going on about Apple since February that measures Twitter, Reddit, uh, different things like Dig, Friend Feed. One of the things I like about uh, backtype is this listing, which you can see more of down here, of top influencers. And we see, for example, David Polk with 1.3 million followers. So if I'm involved in social media, I look at this and I say, wow, David Pogue with over a million followers is uh, tweeting about me, is talking to quite a few people. He's a tech columnist, obviously, with the New York Times. So he's obviously got quite a sphere of influence. You got people like Jack Dorsey. Uh, you can go into view more and see a longer list. Uh, there's all sorts of different tools in here to look at that. So this gives you an idea if you are on social media to better understand uh, exactly what's going on and who is saying what and how you might engage them. Now, those are some broad tools, uh, social mention, same point, and back type. Uh, sometimes you want to go straight to the source. So there are things like Twitter search, see what's happening right now. And with Twitter search is great because it just expresses a very, very uh, large array of what's going on at that moment inside uh, sort of the tweet stream. So we can go ahead and just use that same key term, iPhone and see what people are tweeting about right now. As you see, it brings up all the tweets going on right now with regards to the iPhone. So if you're the iPhone product manager, this would probably be a great tool for you to go and see what people are saying. 
the one thing that uh, Twitter search allows is not just um, uh, brand identification or sentiment measurement or just even just showing you what people are saying, but it can also be a very powerful uh, real-time news stream. Uh, one of the big topics this week has been Stanley McChrystal, the general who was formerly leading Afghanistan, and you can actually see how people are sharing out different uh, tweets about what they've been seeing, what they've been hearing. That's a very broad topic. Obviously, if there's something local, this would be very powerful because oftentimes people who are on the scene may be tweeting about it and getting news out faster than uh, those people in the more legitimate or recognized news sources. There's also Twitter advanced search. And Twitter advanced search actually lets you play with a lot of different fields. Uh, for example, words, people, places inside the Twitter stream. Uh, I like to play with the places. Uh, for example, my old stomping ground in Washington, D.C. You can pump in the uh, zip code right here within a five mile distance and see what the discussion topics are right there. And so this will give you all sorts of different reads on the different uh, things that are being said in a locale. This could be very helpful if you're running an event or you have a localized retail push to see if anybody's picking up on it. You could also look to try and understand if you are doing uh, localized marketing what the personality and flavor and sort of demeanor is of the digerati around there. So that's, that's another very, very powerful tool. Finally, we have uh, uh, a site called Twitter Analyzer, and this is one of many. Um, Twitter's great because it has an open source platform and it lets up developers use its engine to create new tools. This will go ahead and give us some metrics on individual tweeters. Uh, David Pogue, one of the influencers for Apple.com that was listed, we can pull up his profile and split it quite a few different ways. We will be seeing a graph right here. Now this is just showing the number of tweets he does on a daily basis. And this is helpful to know. We can also take a look at his reach. And this shows, expresses, and occasionally you will see little data gaps here. Sometimes that has to do with uh, the way the, the uh, tweet stream is being analyzed or stored. Regardless, uh, fairly consistent uh, flow of information going out to a very, very wide audience. Somebody with a lot of influence, not just because he's a tech columnist, because he's a very, very well-followed tweeter. You can also take a look if you're a social media professional or you have questions in the social media realm at, for example, what applications he's using to uh, get his tweets out there. Uh, uses predominantly TweetDeck, but TwitPic occasionally too. And then hashtags, what are some of the hashtags he's been using? at David, so um, with that in mind, not a hashtagger, uh, which is sometimes a very heavily employed technique to get a large following. What subjects? iPhone times phone, AT&T online. So very focused on the iPhone, it would seem that uh, our early readout on back type was, was confirmed. And uh, for other things, for example, like subjects, links, all of that helps you better understand who is tweeting about you, not just in terms of their name, but also their habits and uh, different functions. So that's it. I just wanted to take a few minutes to run you through some of these tools. Hopefully you get a chance yourself to uh, play with them a little bit. Like I said, if you are either without a budget or you are a non-social media professional, I think a lot of these will make you look smart in the know and give you some answers if that client or contact uh, has some questions about the social media universe. Again, thank you for your time, and uh, let me know if you have any questions. My email is at the end. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.